In this tutorial, you will learn how to use Docker Compose to set up and run a simple Django SQLite application. Before starting, install Docker Engine and Docker Compose in your system. For this project, you need to create a Docker file, a Python dependencies file and a Docker Compose dot uml file let's start by creating a directory for the project and navigate to this directory with cd okay now open this directory in any text editor my case visual studio code is preferred okay now create a new file called docker file in your project directory docker file okay docker file define and applications image content via one or more build commands that configure that image add these lines to docker file okay this docker file start with a python 3.9 parent image the parent image is modified by a new code directory parent image is further modified by installing the python 3.9 requirements defined in the requirements.txt file so create a file named requirements.txt in your project directory okay now add the required software module okay save and close this requirements.txt file and create another file called docker-compose.uml in your project directory docker-compose.uml and add this contents here okay here sqlite database name is db okay the docker compose.uml file describe the services that make your application okay now create a django project so navigate to the directory and create the Django project by running docker compose run command with sudo privilege okay use this command docker compose run web application Django admin start project enter your project name and the last use ok now hit enter enter your password this will take a while this command tells Django to create a set of files 
and directories representing a Django project. After the docker compose command completes, list the contents of your project. Now list the contents of your project with this command. If you are running docker on Linux, the files Django admin created are owned by root. Notice that the happens because the container runs as the root user. Now change the ownership of the new files with the command sudo john dash r dollar sign user clone dollar sign user dot okay now hit enter Now open settings file and set up database connection for Django. Okay. Here the database name and this name must be the same. Okay. Now run docker compose app command from root directory for your project okay sudo docker compose up hit enter and this will take a while Now copy this URL and open a web browser and browse rebuild. Okay.
now use this url we have to change the settings file okay add asterisk to allowed host okay okay now rebuild the application now apply the migrate command python 3.9 okay hit enter now create a super user enter username enter your password a very simple password in my case now rebuild the project now access the admin user interface okay enter your username password if you like this video give a like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video